Linda Robarczak, and I'm a Community Relations Coordinator with DEP Southeast Region. Basically, DEP um, is the state regulatory agency, and we're responsible for um, working to reduce air pollution in the area, as well as um, having safe drinking water, clean streams and rivers in the area, as well as properly disposing of waste. Our office is, is LEED certified, and again, LEED is the leadership energy and environmental design award that's granted uh, for, for buildings depending on what level they achieve. We, we were able to achieve the gold standard, which we're very proud of. Mm -hmm. We have a cistern here that collects all the rainwater and is used to flush toilets throughout the office. We have plants in, in this open area that we're sitting in now, which is open to most of the floors, allowing really good clean indoor air in the, in the building, as well as skylights letting in a lot of natural light in addition to the windows in the office. So it's, it's a great environment and we wanted to lead by example. At the time we moved in in 2004, right now green building is a little more popular, but then not that it was on the cutting edge, but it was just in the, the beginning stages. So we wanted to kind of showcase some of these things for um, the regulated public and visitors to our office, kind of show what could be done. Not only do we have the standard recycling bins located on every floor and in some of the common areas as well for you know, glass, plastic, things of that nature, we, we try to take things one step further. We have a recycling area for binders. We get in a large quantity, as you can imagine, of binders with, with environmental applications that we receive and reports submitted by the regulated community. Um, and we were kind of in a quandary. What do we do with all these binders? So we set up in, in our, in our um, main area uh, a nice shelf where folks can just kind of help themselves to binders when they come in. We found a lot of visitors love that. Um, school teachers and you know, homeschool teachers and, and things of that nature just help themselves. The binders just you know, fly off the shelves. We're very proud to participate in the Bike to Work program. We've been doing that for, for more than four years now and have over a dozen employees currently uh, participating this year. Folks love it. The, the employees, not only do they get their workout in you know, while they're having their commute, quite often is much quicker. You're, you're able to bike quicker than the cars. Um, but DEP really has a nice setup here where the bikers can literally uh, with a key card get, get right into the garage area where, where the secure storage is for their, their bikes. They could stow their, their bikes and their equipment right there at the bike rack area. And then the lockers are conveniently located right around the, the corner, right in that the same area of the basement. They can stow their, you know, their bike clothes there, take a shower, and then go up to their office and start their day. It's, it's a nice setup. I drive halfway and ride halfway, so instead of a 27 mile drive, I do about 14 to Phoenixville and then bike in the remaining, and actually it becomes a 9 mile ride, so it shortens the commute actually, um, but um, the, the hard part of the drive I miss, you know, instead of stuck on being stuck on traffic on 422, I'm, 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 sometimes I'm riding by 422 faster than the cars. You know, with the Norristown Transportation Center right at our back door. Um, it's, it's really convenient. We have many people that are coming in for, um, that use it as a means for commuting, not only the Norristown High Speed Line or the, the SEPTA Regional Rail Line. Anytime we have to go downtown for a meeting or meet with our counterparts at the EPA, we don't even think about taking a vehicle, we, we just jump right on the train. So it's, it's really convenient that way. This is our third year now that, that we've been um, recognized by GVF for the sustainable awards at the platinum level, which is great. We're very proud of that. Our employees really enjoy the amenities that, that our building has to offer. Um, and I think it's, it's a really good way to, to boost morale. A lot of people, when, when they talk to some of our employees and hear, oh, you're biking to and from work, and you know they think that's so out of the realm of, of ordinary. And it really isn't when you consider having an office that has you know, locker room facilities and showers and a bike rack. It's, it's really not that hard to do. And other folks see that and think, oh, I wonder if I can do that or if that's something that we can do in our office. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good. It's a way to spread the word, but to do it in a nice low key and give a good benefit to our, to our employees as well.